It's November 27th, our regular meeting for the month of November. We have minutes from the October 16th meeting that you have in your package. I looked at them, I didn't see any problems, but I'd like for y'all to look over them if you haven't, and I'll right. entertain a motion and have y'all do that. <clears throat> Okay. I second. Motion and a second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's unanimous. A report on district operations. That would be from Mr. Cutler. He is here. Okay. He's not here. Tell us what's going on with the surgery. Oh, okay. oh okay. come on up here where we can hear you. Yeah, okay. uh, one thing I do want is next week, RPR and the Department of Health is performing a 100% survey on the surgery center. So that tells us that it's about ready to go at 100%. There's, there's still some, and I wanted you to go back there tonight. Uh, if you all would, uh, after this meeting, you kind of look at it, because this is the time where you look, I mean, when it's finished, not, not the time where there's walls that are absent. So uh, there are some, still some other equipment that's got to come in and uh, not scheduled to come in until later this month, like sterilizing units uh, for surgery uh, scopes. But, uh, but, you know, I was back there, I think Dr. Morrison was back there, what, two weeks ago, and it's even changed since you were back there. And it's, it's just the, uh, the detail pieces. And so when you get down to the details, it really catches your eye. So I'd like everyone, you know, or invite everyone at least if you have time to go back there tonight, because next week is the 100% survey. Uh, a date. You know, everyone is asking me a date of open. I don't have a specific date, a hard date, because RPR is very reluctant to give that out based on <coughs> when equipment comes in and finishings. But um, we did have a tentative date of December the 17th. But I don't want to hold that as a firm date because of what may not occur in between now and then. Okay. Well, I mean, I was in Washington, D.C. three weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> so. I have a question. Yes, sir. That's all. Uh, last meeting, we talked about uh, underwriting the JSO survey. We'd like to know who we send the check to, how much it is, and do we make it out to the ETMC or do we make it out straight to JSO? Well, that shift is, we've made that decision. That was a decision made back some time ago for the Department of Health. Well, we want to underwrite the JCO also, and we've already told you that. Right, we'll right. Underwrite the, we'll underwrite the thing. So I understand. Who do we send it to? Well, you don't send it, this is a hospital survey. Okay, I know right? that. This is the ETMC hospital survey. And so uh, the underwrite piece is, I'm not really understanding that. Well, you said that you did not go with JCO because you did not, you felt it cost too much. That was the, now, that was the, that let was me explain what you Jayco. said previously. So we said we would be, last meeting, we would be more than happy to write off because most of the board members here feel that JCO is a necessary survey, the, Texas one in general, although it may be adequate if you look at it naturally, nationally is not considered the gold standard. And we would like to have the gold standard implemented here. Now, if you don't think we could pass the gold standard, let us tell, tell us that. No. Not okay, yet. then let's go not forth with it. The, the Department of Health standard is the gold standard. You've got that just backwards. No, the J standard no. nationally. The centers. Of uh, CMS, old HICFA, have the conditions of participation. That's what you're going to follow if you're going to receive Medicare dollars. Okay. It's CMS, COP, conditions of participation. Joint Commission then has to follow that COP. There, there are 
they're a subsection accreditation body to the Department of Health, or CMS. The CMS contracts directly with the Department of Health in all of the states. So Georgia would be Georgia Department of Health, Texas, Texas Department of Health. So they are the accrediting body from CMS, not the Joint Commission. But if you go nationally and you ask if they, and I've talked to hospital administrators who said they consider that the gold standard. And if we consider that the gold standard and there they, is a possibility that ETMC may not be, you know, is one of the many runners, and I don't know how many we're up to, we'll discuss that later, who want to come here, I think it's important that we maintain our JCO survey status. And, and like I said, it's not a matter of finances. We would be far more than happy to underwrite the, the, the survey. And I just want a real reason, the real other reason, than you just don't want, like JCO. No, it's not that we don't like JCO. Well, the do real you, reason is it's the same survey. No, it isn't you, the it's same It's the survey. same exact survey. Years ago, you were able to buy a survey from the Joint Commission for three years. And the Texas Department of Health under the CMS surveyed every one year. Okay? So it, it was advantageous for hospitals to go with a three-year survey. And they paid those dollars to do that. We will still pay for it. Okay? This, today, that's not the case. CMS and HICFA and the TDH and the Joint Commission, those are all the same surveys now because the CMS said, you can't do that anymore. We want the same quality throughout our system. That's nationwide. Um, so they're the same. They are the same survey. We experienced that when we had our last survey. Are all yes. the hospitals in the APFC? Uh, not all of the hospitals. No. Like so Tyler, Tyler is not going to be Jayco and Athens isn't going to be Jayco. I don't know about Sam, Tyler. Now I know that Clarksville has gone from the Joint Commission to the Department of Health. Uh, and I know that Jacksonville was asked to go from the Joint Commission to the Department of Health because of the same reasons. They're getting the same survey. Okay. My suggestion is that I will be more than happy to drop my objection if ETMC Tyler goes to the, the Texas Department of Health as opposed to JCO. If ETMC Tyler Field is important enough to go with JCO, then I think we need to go back to JCO. And we will, we will pay for it. Okay? okay. So would you please report the next meeting which one ETMC Tyler, Tyler is going I, I think I can report that tonight, but I will check. Okay. Tyler, I think, is going to continue to be the Joint Commission. See, that's what I thought. Okay, I think so. Because they think it's important enough but from he, a prestige point of view. But from an accredited body, our accreditation with the Joint Commission ended November the 13th, 2012. And our accreditation starts with a survey with the Department of Health at Crockett after that. If we went back to the Joint Commission, would we still be grandfathered in under all the exclusionary clauses? Or do we lose all That the was credit? asked at one other time about the ADA steps in the back. Now, I can't remember. Was that you, Dr. Walker, that, that asked that? <clears throat> anyway, and, and I checked with the Joint Commission and the TDH. Um, the TDH being a lot more friendly to talk to when you call and ask questions. And both of those. Both of those entities said that has no bearing. ADA is the qualifying agent for steps or, you know, it's for, not the, for the building. It is plumbing, it is air supply, it's electrical supply. Older buildings, when they came in, were grandfathered in. If you were to go in with an older building now, they now require the current standard of... They are going to require their standard, okay? And that's right. environment of care. And this building has always met their environment of care survey. Without and grandfathers. No, it has nothing to do with grandfathers. I was okay. told it had nothing to do with grandfathers. Okay. Okay? You have to meet their standard, period, with or without a grandfather. So if your building meets their standard today under the environment of care survey, then you will pass. And TDH 
quad, they, they run that program also. I mean, the Joint Commission is going to follow the conditions of participation of the environment of care of the, of the CMS. And there's no grandfathering of older buildings? Not that I was telling them, sir. Okay, good. 